what's up youtube welcome to our video in this video we'll learn how we can read write update and delete data from firebase using javascript so let's begin let's go to the firebase website now go to console for this you have to log in to your google account add project firebase java script you can enable this uh, but we don't need it for this project now we will go into the develop section and database so so here is the real time database which we will gonna use in this project so now we will go into the project settings and we will add a web app so by clicking here and giving it a name fire js app and we can also set up the firebase hosting but we don't need it right now click continue to console this is enough for now we will focus on our html page here we are trying to uh, save uh, the information of a student so we need four text boxes one for the name other for the roll number one for the gender i will also put two line breaks at the end of each of the uh, inputs now let me create four buttons uh, some line breaks uh, over here too now buttons so first is gonna be the insert button insert and let me copy and paste this four times the second is gonna be the select button which we will use to read the data the third is gonna be the update button and the last one is gonna be the delete button for our project we need these three libraries these all will be given in the description so you can copy from there uh, but make sure that this version matches the version given over here so this is currently 7.15.5 so this uh, this version in your uh, web app should match the version over here so all of the three now here we will write the main script i will write all my code under one file which is this uh, for the sake of simplicity but you can write the javascript code the main script code in another file so everything will remain the same you just have to link the file over here in this script tag so now let me continue now we will bring our uh, firebase configuration over to our html code firebase configuration into our html file so we will copy this configuration and paste it here now comes the section of reading the data so here i will initialize some variables which are name b role v section v and gender v then we will create a function uh, to ready all the values which is now now we will uh, create a function which will fill our variables with values so function ready and inside this function name v equals to document dot get element by id and the element is name box dot value now i will copy this and paste it multiple times so now our data is ready now we will continue to code the insert button but before that let me check the so it looks all right let me zoom it a little bit now let's work on our insert process 
now we will write the code for the insert button so the insert button has a id insert so document dot get element by id insert dot on click equals to function now first i will call the ready function what it, uh, what it's gonna do is it's gonna fill our variable with the newest values present in the uh, text boxes and then we will gonna write the data to the firebase so for that firebase dot database dot reference and the reference is actually the address so uh, inside the student folder I need a folder with the student roll number so roll V and inside uh, this roll number folder all of the information of the student will be stored so inside this set function i will provide the data which is need to be stored on the firebase so name of student equals to name v and then so this is how you insert data into the firebase now let us try it i'm gonna save the file then refresh here tag v Roll number is 15, section is B, and gender is male. Press insert. And now let us go to the database. Start in test mode. The data is not here because I uh, forgot to create the uh, database first. Now, we uh, if we press the insert button, the data would be inserted. So, inside the student, we have 15, which is the roll number. And inside this, all the information of the student. So, this is how you insert the data. now we will come to the selection part now to select data document dot get element by id select dot on click equals to function so first the ready function and then firebase dot database dot reference and the reference would be the same dot on value function snapshot So snapshot is basically capturing a uh, small part of data or pointing towards a, a particular point of data from the uh, larger database. And then we can fetch out even uh, deeper fields or deeper nodes by getting deep into the snapshot. Now we will fetch the data from the snapshot into our fields. So first document dot get element by id the first is the name box dot value equals to and copy it three times the second would be the section box and the third would be the gender box we don't need to fill the roll number box so now snapshot dot well which is a method to fetch out the value dot now we have to give the exact uh, field name 
which we have given to the firebase so first is the name of student we can copy it from here so the name of student so they must be exactly the same uh, as the uh, firebase data so this is how we fetch the data from firebase now let's check this out too refresh and let's remove all these now I want to fetch the data of roll number 15 so select and I have all the data of the roll number 15 now the update and the delete process is very simple for the update process we will copy all this paste it here uh, let's change the name to update process so all of this thing will remain the same we will just remove the set and add update here and let me remove the roll number because we don't want to update the roll number we can also use set to update uh, our data but it will delete uh, all the previous field and add the new fields but update would only update the given fields which are these three right now so it would update only these three and it will not touch any previous field so uh, this is how you update our data and to delete our data let me copy this so to delete our data is very easy you just say remove and that's it so this is the a way to delete the data now we just have to change this to update and this to delete now let's check this out now first refresh the page now I want to update the data of roll number 15 so let me get its original information now I want this to be updated to amazing let's remove this amazing code words and the section to a now let me update it the data is updated now let us delete uh, now let us uh, add a new member rule number 17 which is a female insert the data so there is the data of roll number 17 now to delete the data of the roll number 17 I just need the roll number and delete and the data is being deleted So this is all for the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel. See you next time.